Hey, welcome back to the Biotech Investor Channel, where we dive into the hottest biotech investment tips and trends. Today, we'll be going through Iovan's latest updates, from the FDA approval and the latest earnings reports, to the short-term catalyst that, for sure, will be moving the share price. I'm still holding my shares as I like the stock. I'll be looking to take some profits after the upcoming catalysts, and that should be very, very soon. You won't want to miss the updates we've got lined up, so let's go! Before we dive into the specific of AmTagV, which is the treatment name chosen for the tilt therapy approved by the FDA, let's understand the gravity of melanoma. Melanoma is the most serious type of skin cancer, often resulting from the transformation of a mole into cancer. It's aggressive, rapidly spreading to other parts of the body and making it difficult to treat in advanced stages. AmTagV represents a paradigm shift in cancer treatment, focusing on individualized therapy. It's not just another drug, it's a tailored treatment, custom made for each patient using their own T-cells. This personalized approach allows for targeted attack on cancer cells, offering hope where traditional therapies have failed. With the approval, AmTagV is now fully launched in the United States. The Iovance Cell Therapy Center has begun commercial manufacturing, with capacity to serve several thousand patients annually. As of now, approximately 30 authorized treatment centers are on board, with an expectation of 50 total centers by the end of May of this year. Right after Amtagvi received the FDA approval, iAvance moved to capitalize on the momentum by executing a follow-on equity financing in February 2024, which means it offered more shares to the market, diluting the rest of the shareholders. This created a sharp drop in the stock price, which recovered within the next trading day, as those shares were being bought by major players like Wayne Rothbaum. This strategic move was meticulously planned to strengthen Iovan's financial foundation, ensuring the continuity and expansion of other treatment solutions. This move limited the rise in stock price and hurt short-term investors, but it was needed to build the finances and basis for the long-term success of the company. The shares offering raised around $197 million. This substantial infusion of capital has significantly increased the cash position to approximately $485 million. This reinforcement is crucial as it positions the company to sustain current and planned operations well into the second half of 2025 without the need for further financing. This is great news for the investors as no further dilutions are planned for the foreseeable future. Moving on to the earnings report highlights, the US launch of AmTagV has been successful with nearly all of the 30 authorized treatment centers on board and an expansion to 50 centers is expected by May 2024. Iovan's robust pipeline is advancing with regulatory submissions for AmTagV in the EU, UK and Canada on track which will significantly increase the addressable patient population. Financially, Iovance ended the year with a strong cash position of $485 million, bolstered by a follow-on equity financing, and expect to fund operations well into the second half of 2025. With more than 60 patents granted or allowed, Iovance is not only at the forefront of tail therapy, but also has a protective mode around its treatments, ensuring a competitive edge until 2042. The global expansion and development of new indications for AmTagV, alongside the advancement of the clinical pipeline, position Iovance for significant growth and potential profitability by the end of 2024. Well, how about short-term performance? Last December, the FDA placed a partial clinical hold on new patient enrollment for their lung cancer trial a pivotal study in non-small cell lung cancer. This decision has been a focal point for Iovance. As per the latest earnings report Q&A, Iovance has provided the FDA all the necessary information in order to lift the hold and continue the trial. The expectation was that the hold would be lifted very, very soon. As management predicted, only four days later, the FDA has lifted the hold on the lung cancer trial. 
This very important catalyst moved the share price more than 10% during today's pre-market. This is a crucial event for IFN's pipeline. Lung cancer represents one of the most common and deadly cancers worldwide, with non-small cell lung cancer accounting for the majority of cases. The potential market for effective treatments in lung cancer, particularly for those patients who have exhausted other therapeutic options, is substantial. IFN's therapy aims to address this significant unmet medical need, offering a new hope for better outcomes. The successful resumption of the lung cancer trial is not just a milestone for IOVANS. It is a strategic win that could significantly enhance the company's position in the oncology market. Positive outcomes from this trial could pave the way for rapid adoption and integration into the standard of care for lung cancer treatment, marking a significant achievement transforming cancer treatment. IOVANS is enjoying tailwinds at this time with good news after great news. We hope that they can succeed in their lung cancer trials, not only for the sake of the investors, but for the sake of those fighting cancer and in memory of those who did not survive it. I recommend adding this talk to your wish list and at least consider it. Please conduct your own research as I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. Invest at your own risk. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. It's been a pleasure.